Hey guys, it's your boy Dean Poe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I just finished the marathon from beginning to end. And there's a couple of tips I want to share with you. Um, given now that I finally do it. it. took me about five attempts to get it done. Kept getting killed by extra campers on customs and interchange. They're the two sweatiest maps in my personal opinion. Um, Ground Zero is not bad. Streets is not bad. But it gets a little bit sketchy in interchange. Customs is an absolute shit show. Um, woods, we also had campers, but then shoreline was fine. Um, what's it called? Lighthouse was fine. All the other maps are fine. It's just customs that you really need to, need to watch out for the most. My only advice, bring at least four bottles of water and four MRE. Uh, we had a guy die to starvation on woods, which kind of sucks because you're like about halfway through. Um, we were pretty much on... 20 food and like 30 hydration from reserved onwards there was no food to be found when we needed it it was an absolute shit show bring a lot of ammo bring a lot of food because you're gonna need it guys like don't expect to go and loot sometimes you might not be able to loot because you'll spawn right on the extract sometimes you might be able to loot but hey just play slow don't go straight on the seven minute mark as soon as the time is up go straight to transit if there's other teams there, anticipate it, let them go first, then go and do it yourself. I cannot overstate the importance of it. It is absolutely cooked, like how people will just go and like farm it just, just to grieve others. It's it's un unreal, absolutely unreal. So I did it, I think I was level 13 when I started this. I'm now level, now level 17. Level 8, yeah, 17 going on 18. So very good experience. All I, all I took with me was AKS, which you can buy from Prepper here for like 70k. Really good starting gun if you don't have flea market. And it's that one. Where is it? That one there. Um, I'll, I'll totally recommend you do it. Also, bring a lot of markers. Yeah, bring a lot of markers because you will need them. You have to, for a quest here, to drop down a lot of markers. I don't know which quest it was. Could it mechanic? No. Might be someone else. It's not definitely that guy. Yeah, this one here. So I didn't mark all of them because I ran out of markers. But definitely bring markers. You don't have to do it while you're doing the marathon. You can do this in PvP. It doesn't matter. But it does make it a lot easier as you're going through it. Anyways, that's all the, the wisdom I would probably impose on you. A lot of food, a lot of water. The, the better gear you have, the higher the chances of survival. The scavs are cracked, they'll shoot you in the armpits, <laughs> or they'll face tap you. It's, it's absolutely cooked. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I hope this helps you. Just play it slow, as I said. Let other teams extract first. Unless you're already there, then hide in a bush and wait for other people to come. But, yeah, usually I'd, we just, like, let other people pass, extract, and then we went extracted. Some maps were dead. We got lucky, like, for example, Shoreline and Lighthouse. Sometimes you're not going to be so lucky. Anyways, thank you for watching. I do appreciate your time, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.